This will show you how to configure Healbot to be efficient. In its default setup, it's rather clumsy and not as useful as it could be. To begin, click on the Option button to bring up the menus. The first menu is the General tab. We want to check the Hide Options button to make Healbot's footprint as small as possible. Then enable right click opens options so that you can still easily access this menu. Set the anchor to top left. This means that your group will always appear on the very left and that you will always be at the top of the group. This makes it easy to always find yourself and so that you'll know that when it's you taking damage and you'll probably need to react. The part at the bottom is strictly a personal preference. The only one that would actually be helpful to the rest of the group is probably the resurrecting text. This is the Spells tab. This is where you configure Healbot for the spells you want each mouse button to be. Select the corresponding mouse button at the top, and then below type the spell you want. You have choices of the mouse button by itself, and then one for Shift, Alt, and Control. Make sure you spell it exactly, and the capitalization must be exactly as it is in your spellbook. The Smart Cast helps you do stuff while out of combat. The only one I would recommend leaving disabled is the healing spells. The healing tab just needs a couple changes. At the top, most of the defaults are okay, except enable pets. Pets represent a large part of their class's DPS, so it's beneficial to you to also heal pets. Down at the bottom, you can leave it as is. In the middle is the most important setting, called alert level, and this needs to be set to 100%. I'll show you why. With alert set to its default value, it will only show active bars when the target is both within range and something is happening to them. When we change it to 100%, the bars of all targets within your healing range will show as active. The Cure tab acts like Decursive. It sets up dispels automatically based on class type. Priests will get magic and disease, druids get poison and curses, etc. At the top, make sure that Monitor to remove buffs while in combat is enabled. On your class specific, set the member type to Raid. Raid will also check group and self, so it will always work no matter what kind of group you're in. Also, disable ignore movement slowing debuffs. You want your tanks to be able to pick up targets and your DPS to get out of the way. Enable bar colors on health bar and aggro bar. These are the colors that people's health bar will turn when afflicted by these type of debuffs. You will need to remember what each color means as well as set up your dispel abilities as mouse buttons in the spell tabs. Disable the play sound on debuff option as it can get very annoying. In the middle is the custom debuff area. These are the debuffs that you can't dispel, but you need to set priority for healing. This is extremely important during many boss fights. For example, Jagged Knife selected here is the debuff used in the Instructor Vesuvius fight in Xramus. To add a new custom debuff, find out what the name of the debuff is by either looking online or looking through your combat log and use capital letters and correct spacing. Once typed in, press save. Here I'll show you why this is an important feature. This is the Kel'Thuzad battle in Nexramus. The Ice Bolt debuff shows up on Healbot, and you know as a healer that that person needs to be healed as soon as possible. You will also hear that between the player's delay in response as well as any vent lag, you can't rely on them to tell you, or in this case, you can't even see them. I've already healed the target by the time he announces over vent that he needs healing. I'm an Ice Bolt. This is skin 1 tab, just a couple settings. You'll see Hillbot is still showing both targets in the same order, but in reality we are in a raid group in two different groups. So we want Hillbot to show groups, so enable show headers. Then turn off the flash bar setting on monitor aggro. Skin 2. Set the texture to whatever you like. I like smooth because it makes the bar most legible. Set number of headers to 1 to make each group get its own column. Then set the bar layout to whatever fits your vision and monitor. Set aggro bar to 1 and set mana bar to 0, unless you just really want to see everyone's mana as well. At the bottom, make sure incoming heals is selected so that you can see the incoming amounts being casted by healers that use compatible healing mods. You can choose between delta or percentage, but I think delta is the wiser choice because it lets you know exactly how much of a heal that target needs. Here I'll click off Fortitude and reapply it to get a health deficit, and you can see the difference between the two displays.
We don't want all these pop-ups over our targets, so disable all options on the tip screen. Now you can freely mouse over Heelbot. The buff screen lets you choose your class buffs that you would like Heelbot to monitor. Again, Raid also watches group and self. In this case, I select regular Fortitude and Divine Spirit instead of the Raid-wide prayer version because I don't want it to use a region every time I want to buff someone. Then choose your colors you want for each buff. I'll click off my buffs so you can see Healbot update my health bar with the different colors as I cycle through the buffs. The easiest way to verify that Healbot is set up is to just jump into a battleground. This gives lots of targets to heal and lots of practice with the dispels. You can see the little greater than, less than symbols around the targets that have aggro or are being attacked. Anyone's health bar that turns blue has a magic debuff which I can dispel. Now that I've left combat, it shows colors of the respective buffs that I can cast that are missing on players. Just a couple tips here. My actual selected target and my heal bot target are separate. You can see I have the boss selected, but I'm able to heal targets through heal bot no problem. This is nice because you can still see the cast bar of the boss or just keep an eye on his health without having to set a focus frame. This is to show you how to use special cooldowns and stuff that you can use through the use of macros. Go to your macro screen and type a macro that looks like the following. Be sure to use the um, target equals HP target and make it a unique single word for the name of the macro. Here I chose to use IF underscore POH for inner focus and then prayer of healing. Then type the macro name in Healbot as the spell name. Uh, be sure that the spelling and the capitalization are correct or else it won't work. Well, that's it. I hope this was useful and maybe showed you how awesome of an add-on Healbot is.